Alright, hello everybody. It's time for some Metal Gear 2. I'm really looking forward to this because I had a lot of fun with um, the original Metal Gear. And I've only heard fantastic things about this one. Alright, just FYI, there are two openings. Okay. I'll be on the lookout for that. Cardboard box action, yes. Sonic Popsicle. My favorite Metal Gear character. Alright. Yeah, I don't know, man. Is there ever going to be a better boss than Dirty Duck? I guess we're going to find out. Hopefully, hopefully no more rolling pin action. That was, that was my worst enemy. Sega. I'm already um, jamming out to these beats. Got some good music going on. Have snake kissing a boy, I hope so. Now you got my hopes up. Wow, this is already fantastic. Turn the game volume back a bit, alright. Oop. The song's theme of Solid Snake. Ah. Gosh, these are so- oh, these graphics are so good. I love them. Man, the MSX... Was the MSX on par with NES, or, like, it almost seems like it's slightly better. As far as capabilities. Does it have more colors? Or just more something? This was MSX2. I didn't even know that was a thing. those portraits. Oh, are these the- they updated them for the re-release, right? To make him look more snaky. Just before he looked like some actor. Uh, so? Hey, thank you so much for the sub, Kirby! That's cool. That's like some nice cell phone release. Oh, interesting. That's, that's like a nice little update, I feel like. Like, not- nothing that interferes with the game itself, but just kind of pushes it into the modern canon a bit. Snake was straight up Mel Gibson. Only in this game? Cause wasn't he also look like some actor in the NES versions? Licensing likeness issues? I mean, I love that about early Japanese games. They just kind of did whatever they felt like. And I love, um, like, especially, like, in the Super Nintendo games when they would just sample music. Like, one of my favorite things about Earthbound is they were just like, let's just sample the Beatles. We can do whatever we want. I don't care. Who's the Terminator Kyle Reese guy? Okay. That's, that's hilarious. Oh, that was so cool. I'm already- I'm already pumped. I gotta put my headband on. Oh, is this the second opening? It's the late 1990s. The world is embarking on an age of peace and stability. That- Is that true? <laughs> Relations between the Cold War and Superpower have thawed. Regional conflicts are being resolved. The threat of a nuclear war is now a thing of the past. Simpsons caller tag. Ooh. 
but there are some who do not desire peace. When did this come out? Was this 1990 something? 1990? Okay. An atmosphere of tension begins to build in the Middle East. Oh boy. Gosh, look at those beautiful graphics. A military junta comes to power in Zanzibar land, a small nation bordering on the USSR, China, and the Middle East. Zanzibar land attacks nuclear weapons disposal sites around the world, seizing those weapons that are still intact and becomes the world's only nuclear power. It then begins to invade its neighbors at will. The Cold War is over, but the USSR still exists. Yeah. After renouncing nukes forever, the world is once again threatened by the specter of nuclear war. Meanwhile, the world's oil supply, which was to last another 30 years, suddenly and unexpectedly dries up. Without a safe alternative source of energy, the world faces a severe energy crisis. This is too real, man. It is in these dire circumstances that Dr. Keo Marv, a Czech biologist, develops Oilix, a microbe that can synthesize high-grade petroleum. With this discovery, global tensions are once again on the rise. On his way to attend an American scientific conference, Dr. Marv is kidnapped by agents of Zanzibar land. So how old is Snake in this one? Like, how when does this take place compared to Metal Gear Solid 1? Because he looks the same. Honestly, I'm not very... I don't really know much about how the timeline works. With its nuclear weapons and the secret of Oilix, Zanzibar Land plans to achieve global military domination. oil too. <laughs> the tiny microbe only a few microns wide is about to change the world forever. He's a little younger. How long does this take place after the first Metal Gear? Oops! Oh no, was that the second intro? Did I accidentally miss it? Weapon select, equipment select. Quick button. Throw a punch. Operate the elevator. That was the first one. Was it but I was about to skip the second one? Oh. Oh, okay. Did I watch them both? Whatever. Move. Crawl. Radio. Alright. I like how I like how my, my button is to punch or elevator. <laughs> punch the elevator. Original. I did easy for... I think I'll try original. Hey, it's... Fox Hound. That was cute. Oh, here's a little crawly boy. Oh man, I can crawl in this one. I couldn't crawl in the first one. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, it's Colonel. Uh, so... Thanks so much for the sub, dears, Max. This is Snake. I've reached the infiltration point. Snake, right on time, as always. Let's get started. Commencing Operation Intrude FO-14. Let's go over this one more time. Your mission is to infiltrate Zanzibar land and rescue the kidnapped Czech biologist Dr. Keo Marv. Snake, we've provided you with a new anti-personnel sensor. Try switching it on. Roger. Okay, it's on. Wow, I got a freaking radar map? Holy crud. 
is like a huge update. The white dots on your radar are enemy soldiers. The red dot is your current position. The radar is equipped with several other types of sensors as well. They should warn you of any unseen dangers. What's the radar's effective range? Take a look at your radar display. It shows a 9 screen area centered on your position. However, it may not work in small enclosed spaces. Also, if the enemy spots you, you won't be able to use the radar. The enemy will use a jammer to scramble it. Got it. Where can I find Dr. Marv? Well, Dr. Marv has a transmitter implanted in one of his molar teeth. When you get close to him, he'll show up as a red dot on your radar. So I just have to keep an eye out for the red dot. Snake, use frequency 140.85 for all future communications with me. Yeah, this is like a huge step up. I didn't realize. I thought they were both like on the same console, but this is like going from nest to nest. Good luck. Over and out. The guards can see in Fort- Oh no! The guards don't just look on a single pixel line anymore, but I can crawl, so... Oh my god, look at him go. Little crawly boy. Okay. Punch that guy into food. Nice. Alright, turn around, Mr. Buddy. Come on. I'm just gonna stay there? Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's off, he's off somewhere. He's got something to do. Can I crawl under stuff? <gasps> I can crawl freaking under stuff! Holy crud! I just freaking crawled under a truck! This is amazing! Oh my god, okay, this is exciting. Thanks, Jusenari! Have a nice rest. Use crawling to sneak through grass in the fence, over and out. Oh my god, I can do so much. Can they see through fences? Ah! Ah! Ow! Ah! Ah! They can see through fences! Help me! Freaking sprint out of here. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. The kanji in the corner right now? Well, it says Kiken right now, which is like danger. It's like my alert status. Um, is this an elevator? God, there's some more guys coming. Oh, my life is really low. What am I supposed to do? Is this a dead end? Help me, Colonel. Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander or the game designer in charge of guarding that area. You might see possibilities you couldn't see before over and out. Oh yeah, I did get a ration, huh? Nothing equipped. Oh, and I have cigarettes. Contains beef, pork, ham, and eggs. Wow, pork and ham? Tuna fish, chocolate, and crackers. It's just like all mushed up and shoved into there. <laughs> um, okay, I can't go this way. Oh. Wait. Oh, here we go. I don't know how to get out of alert mode. There's so many holes and fences for me to climb through. Who designed this place? Who 
were they designing this for by putting all these holes in fences? There are several ration types in this game. Do they have the really delicious French ones? Ooh, uh, look at how big this gun is! My automatic pistol used as the standard sidearm in the US military. Ooh, a suppressor and reloaded? That's. Oh no! Oh, I'm, I was punching him instead of shooting him. Can I crawl under this truck? Nope. Well, so much for stealth. I'm out of here. Oh, look at me, little air vent boy. You thought the rations sounded delicious? Tuna fish and chocolate? What's next after MG2? Well, I just started MG2, and I'm still going through MGS4. Um, after MG2, maybe... Mm, I might just try the NES ones for fun, but then maybe Ghost Babble? Wait, what did I pick up? The VR missions? What's happening? Is this a cutscene? Are there cutscenes in this game? Oh. It was just loading. Where am I? Am I on a roof? Oh, this is just like a little lookout. Or can I get down? No. You can just kind of scope out the area. Okay. Oh, I picked up ammo. Oh, cool. Carry anymore. Oh no! Oops. Did not mean to do that. before? You can't sneak in through the front door. Oh. Yeah, I already knew that. items respawn the same way as the original Metal Gear, so you can just like keep collecting them. Oh man, my life is low and I don't have any more snacks. Gotta be careful. Yeah, no, I hear the NES ones are kind of rough, but I want to at least try them. Right, and the second one is just like totally its own thing. I just have to have the experience. And then snack hack. You have to use a glitch to enter the final room, wow. Some solid game design. I love that it has like such a cute little loading screen. Oh, Holly. Holly White. I infiltrated Zanzibar Land a month ago, posing as a journalist. 
so I know pretty much how things work around here. I'll help you any way I can. My frequency is 140.15. Call me later! Alright, Holly, see ya. I don't have a stream schedule. I, I tend to make one at the beginning of the week, but because of like work and stuff, it's always kind of all over the place. elevator? Can I punch it? I mean, I can, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, I forget. I, like, haven't even been looking at my radar. I'm so used to not having a radar. There's some guys over there. That's actually really helpful. And they, like, move across screens, don't they? That's pretty intense. Uh-oh. Man, these graphics, you can really tell the, um, like, Escape from New York inspiration. Ooh. Am I witnessing something? Oh, it's the National Anthem. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch them while they're saluting. But you get for being patriotic, idiots. Punch your computer. Get up. Okay. Yeah, it's got some good music going on. I need some freaking snacks! Oh god. Oh god. Should I, like, hit that guy? I'm gonna die. My health is, like, very, very low. Okay, there's a camera. Um, where is the snack shack? Oh, is this just, like, a hidey hole? Oh god, that camera's after me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna kill this guy and see if he has any snacks. Oh no! He killed me! I couldn't outrun his bullet. I like how when he dies, he just like flies on his front. Oh, I had a checkpoint. Well, that's nice. I thought I was literally gonna have to start over from the beginning. Oh, is that Holly again? Oh, cool, and then it does save the whatchamacallits again. I still haven't quite figured out, like, the... how the enemies... AI... And they're... Oh! Well, that can see me there! Ah! Forget that, like, running into them hurts me. The colonel is as useless as Big Boss. But is the colonel actively trying to kill me? That's that's the question. Kana Kana, I can't find the any key. I like how Snake is like actually super smart, but in my head, he's just become a dumb himbo dog man. Whoop. 
Good thing I good thing that guy didn't see me. Yeah, no, I, I punched some guys when they were saluting earlier. This was the room that they were saluting in. I mean, I guess we can do that again. Have I played MGS2? Yeah. How often does the National Anthem go off? This is other guy's too busy saluting, he doesn't even notice me punch his friend. This is the only National Anthem I'll salute to. Nick has an IQ of 180. Yeah, he's a smart boy, but I don't care. I can make him a himbo if I want. That's the power of art. He doesn't need to have a brain. He has Otacon. Uh oh. Go, go, go. Uh-oh. You can hear my footsteps. Man, that's so fancy. This game has like all the all the things. Oops! You heard my footsteps! Better punch him. I'm out of here. Smart people can still be himbos. That's true. You can have like the have like book smarts but he'll be kind of clueless. He is more fun as a himbo. He doesn't- he's not allowed to have every single good trait. You can't be handsome and strong and smart. That's too many. I guess that's why he's the perfect man when they cloned him. Okay I guess my alert level doesn't go down ever just kind of stays until I like I have to kill people maybe I'm kind of stuck right now <laughs> uh, I guess I better run for it ah punch the elevator ah crud because they know where you're at you mean I can't just crawl under something and they forget I actually have object permanence. I'm out of the hole, Mr. Snake. I wish these guys would drop some freaking snacks for me. I like how the national anthem only plays in this room. Zan's a barf. That's my kind of island. Give me your snacks. Give me your lunch money. Is there anything I can do in this room? Is there a vending machine somewhere? Oh crud, oh crud. Watch out for that camera. Room of Experiencing National Anthem. Hope you go that way, okay. What? What's that? Oh no, the camera saw me. Oh no. Crap. I thought I was... I thought I was hiding well. I love how there's even a separate sound effect. Ah! For the- Ah! No, 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 no! Evasion. Avoision. 
No! Uh, did I just go in a big freaking circle? Great. Went in a big stupid circle and now I have less health. Alright, what's this guy gonna do? Can I get into that door? No! Ran into him instead of punching him. My arms are so short. I can't open this door! Oh. Is there an elevator I saw earlier? Speaking of object permanence. Hi, classic game lover. Welcome. Okay. This time. Yeah, he's got some short little arms going on. Look at that! Look at his arm is like only half an arm. Why are his arms so short? How to spin in place before you go down. That's just how people died back then. Just gotta do a little twirl. DQC elbow. Look at it, he's like a little chicken wing arm. Looks better from that side. From the back. Yeah, I remember seeing an elevator, but I forget where it was. I'm busy dying to remember where elevators are. I'm trying to seek you see, but the shortness of my arm is making the guards laugh at me. Poor snake. No, oh, and the guards, like, they don't, like, reset their position. Your radar is also your map. Yeah. But elevators don't show up on the map. No! Just stare at the radar era. I wish there were some snacks in the vent. Yeah, man, this game is impressive. I can't, I can't just like screw around because the AI actually has brains, so I have to actually have a brain as well. Well, the AI kind of has brains. Oh my god, can I get like an arm extender, please? My arms are so short. Exponentially easier. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just need to find a infinite ration supply. Where was that freaking elevator? Why can't I remember? Those extending boxing gloves. Yeah, that's what I need. Uh oh. Well, I'm glad that guy didn't see me. Where can I find that elevator? In the center room? In this one? Can I go in that door? I don't remember if I could go through that door or not on the east side of the upstairs area. Is this the upstairs area? Oop! Hearing my little thinky footsteps. Where I hid a while ago. You have snacks for me, buddy? No. Freaking jerkwads. Just up here. Ah! 
Barf. Oh, here we go. Come here. Open. Hurry up. Yeah. Up. Alright, we're on floor two. I hope this is the stack floor. The loud footstep floor. I gotta be crawling. Always be crawling. A, B, C. Are those snack boxes? Oh no. Oh no. At least I got this checkpoint. Yeah, this is the, the Metal Gear Solid 3 version. Where are my snackies at? What's this bozo doing? You gonna do something, bozo? I'm just gonna stand there? Okay. Open up. Give me snacks. Hard. It's not. I can't eat that. Ah. I'm gonna come in here, idiot. Oh. Ah. Ah. No. No. I was right by the snacks. Yeah, I need an infinite snack hack. Like a belly warmer. Ah! I can only take one bullet. I'm glad the checkpoints are so forgiving. Cause I don't I don't mind games where you die a bunch as long as you're not like Severely punished for dying. Ooh, the snack guard is gone. What? What do you mean you can't carry- Whoa, where did all these come from? When did I pick up all these snacks? Do I have these the whole time? Wait, which is the one on the ground? Beans. Beans and meatballs. Beans and- <laughs> Got spam, 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 eggs, beans, and spam. Um... Slice oh, this is the actual spam one. Sliced ham, chicken and turkey. Forget like, what's with the commas? Like, what do they mean, chicken and turkey? Like, why are those? Why are those in what coffee? Just like dumped in there. All right, guys, which ration would you want to eat? We have beef, pork, ham, and eggs, tuna fish, chocolate, and crackers, beans and meatballs, beans and franks, beef and potatoes, sliced ham, chicken, and turkey, spaghetti, cheese, and coffee. I'm kind of going for the B2 unit. That sounds pretty good to me. Tuna and fish? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chicken. Ooh, binos. I like the punching noise a lot. Like when he punches nothing. Oof. Oof. I think I just came to get punched. Oof. 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 Okay. Oh, that ration isn't infinitely respawning. Oh, where'd that guy go? Well, whatever. Oh! Okay. 
Okay. Binoculars. Alright. So I got a key card now. Maybe I can go in there? It looks like. Oh no, don't hit me. Maybe not? Does my key card not work here? Okay, I guess my key card doesn't work for this door. Maybe I need it for just the bottom area. Maybe I need to go back down. Colonel, you have anything to say to me? Watch out for floors that make noise. Yeah, I already- Not even those noise-absorbing boots you're wearing can eliminate footstep noise completely. Wow, noise-absorbing boot technology. I want to get me some noise-absorbing boots. I got suppressors on my boots. The Zanzibar building has two underground floors and four above-ground floors. The first floor houses the central command, the hangar, and the factory. The second floor is the deck, the third floor is used for R&D. What's R&D? And the fourth floor is the living quarters. Ooh, living quarters, that sounds like snacks. I mean, I guess I'm full of snacks, but... The armory and powder house, powder house. Oh, I guess like gunpowder. Are on B1, and there's a drainage ditch on B2. See ya. Okay. Tactical Crocs. Sneakers. Or sneaking. Research and development. Okay. Um. Get down here, elevator. Okay. Um. She writes like she talks. Can I use this key? How do I know? Okay. Does my key card work automatically? Do I have to equip it? Because someone said it worked on the bino door. Oh. Uh oh. He heard me punching the door. guy's so confused. Is he just gonna stand there and be confused forever? Okay, there you go. You have to equip it. Okay, I don't think it works on this door though. Oh, it's out of order. I thought that was a, uh, like a card slot. Uh oh. Was that noise? Sounded like a guy punching an elevator. Can you do anything? Okay. Not key card does not work on that door. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll just kind of go wherever I feel like. Temple's just like, figure it out yourself, dude. I don't know. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! 
Can they come in the elevator? Ah, they can! <laughs> come up to the first, the second floor with me, buddy. Okay, is there anything else in here? I don't know if I checked every corner. I think I checked the bottom right corner. I still have a ways to go in MGS4. I'm doing like one stream a week, if that. It's a lot to take in. Oh, the snacks respond. Ah! Ooh, what's this, ammo? For a short? I want to call it short. Oh wait, I ate the wrong snack. Okay, I don't think there's anything I, I need on this floor. I need to go up or something. There's a, is that a mouse? Can I pick up that mouse? Where's my binos? Oh, these look like laser guys. I need my smokes. It's for a big computer. that? Ah! Kind of dust. Kind of weird radar thing. There are lots of children living in Zanzibar land. There are war orphans from all over the world. They're just innocent kids, so they won't hurt you. See ya. Okay, so don't punch kids if I see kids. I like how it's like they're innocent kids, as opposed to the guilty kids. Oh. <laughs> Holly was like, don't kill kids, and Campbell's like, kill if you gotta. It's fine. Fight when you have to fight. Kill when you have to kill. Those are the rules in Battlefield in a shooting game over and out. Jack isn't a guilty kid. It wasn't his fault he became a war orphan. Do these change? Oh yeah, they change. Ah! Come on, let me out. gonna change? No? Okay. We good. Can I open this door? Yes. Ooh, gas mask. Oh no! I ran into a laser. Oh, they're just alert lasers. They're not like, they're not like killy lasers. Okay, well that's cool. Doubles the lengths and slows the depletion of the O2. Oh, it only... Oh, it only like slows it? It doesn't stop it completely? That's interesting. No! It ran into me! Wait, why aren't my- oh, because they already- 
was like, why aren't there lasers? And it's like, oh, because I already set them off. Whoops. Try crawling under the lasers. I know. My key card is not good enough for that door. Can I crawl under these lasers? What happens if I go into the dust? Oh, I guess I can't crawl under that. Little trash boy falling down the trash suit. Oh, oh, it's a garbage compactor. Oh, look, there's garbage. Oh, god. I picked up the cigarette butt. I gotta go back for my cigarette butts. It's just like Star Wars. Ew, what are those? Aliens? Yeah, so far this game plays well. Oh look, it's an innocent child. Can I talk to him? There was a rolling pin. Oh, my car key isn't good enough. I wanna go talk to the child. Can I jump down? No. That's one of the guilty ones. Look at him, what's he doing down here? Guilty kids live in the sewers. Shoot, I'm not shooting the child. Basement 2 is the lowest, right? Yeah. Who's this guy? He looks like he means business. Oh, maybe not. Infrared. I guess I can use those instead of cigarettes. That's no fun. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. Was Japan crazy about Ninja Turtles? I don't know. Oh no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't know there would be freaking- of course- I mean of course there's freaking bottomless pits in this game. They're in every game. My worst enemy. I like how I like can stand on the opposite side but then you're just like stuck. I like how it's just in that corner. Like, hey, why doesn't it freaking work on that guy? Does he have the special, like, boots that make it so you can't fall down bottomless pits? I need some of those. Pit absorbing boots. I think that's all I can do on this floor right now. I chose the quiet boots instead of the floaty boots. Like in Pokemon at the beginning, you can only pick one kind of boots. The third boot was like the stylish boots. Okay, now we're back here on the snack floor. This will go up to floor three? See what's up there? Ah, oh, stabby knife boots. That's what I want. Tap dance of doom boots. Oh, this is the computer room again. 
there anywhere I can go besides the trash chute? I think I need more key cards. Oh wait, I can go in here. Uh oh. Ammo? I wanted snacks. Oh, gas. Oh, look, it has one of those, like, arm things. Uh-oh. Oh, is the camera that saw me in here? Um, can I open one of these doors? Leave! I'm busy. Go, 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 snack! Alright, we're good. What's up, buddy? Are you a fake professor? <gasps> he is a fake professor! No! Foolish foxhound. Is he gonna open a pit just like the other fake professor? <laughs> Dr. Marv isn't here. Figures that foxhound would use such a cheap transmitter. You guys are really behind the times. No! Fake Dr. Marv! <laughs> I am Black Ninja, a former member of NASA's Extraterrestrial Environmental Special Forces Unit. What? Excuse me? You fight aliens? Now let's see just how strong the world's most advanced black ops unit really is. Show me what you've got, Foxhound! Whoa, 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 whoa! This guy teleports! Whoa! He shoots little stars at me! He can teleport! Oh, he's almost dead! Oh god, I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, he's dead first. Snake. Who are you? How do you know my name? It's- it's me, Schne Oh, Schneider! He's the guy who had to build all the pits for Big Boss. Kyle Schneider, remember me? Schneider? You were in the Resistance at Outer Heaven. But, I thought they killed you. You still got a lot to learn, Snake. I was almost killed, but not by them. By you and your country. <gasps> what are you saying, Schneider? Snake, after you destroyed Metal Gear, NATO launched a massive bombing campaign against Outer Heaven. All of us resistance fighters and the children of Outer Heaven, they didn't care about any of us. There was no escape from the flames. They died like animals in a cage. I can't believe this. Think about it. The children of Outer Heaven were originally war orphans and refugees from all over the world. They were a liability, and NATO didn't want to deal with them. No. You're no different. They'll forget about you too. But he wasn't like them. Ooh. He came and saved us from annihilation. He forgave us for what we'd done. He gave us a new land to call home, a new family. He did? You mean... Snake. You'll understand soon what a wonderful man he is. Snake, I owe you a debt. There's no hate between us. I'll tell you where Dr. Marv is. It's what he would want me to do. Find the man who's guarding the cell where Dr. Marv is being held. Follow that man and he should lead you straight to his cell. You can tell him by his green beret. He should be on the first floor. Got that? A green beret. Follow the man in the green beret. Oh, dead. Oh, oh, exploded dead. Oh, I dropped the key card. Alright, oh, my life got replenished. That's nice. Wow, that was a big lore dump. I forget that I can save. What color beret? Uh. Explosion. 
Why did he try to kill me? You need to know anything about mercenaries or enemy weapons. Ask our mercenary expert, George George Cat Kaisler. He knows everything. He used to work for us at a military advisor. You can trust him. His frequency is 140.93. Ooh. We'll pick up the tab for the info. Just don't ask him about whale cuisine. <laughs> what? I'm gonna ask him. That's the first thing I'm gonna ask him about, is whale cuisine. about whale cuisine. Oh, is he not picking up? Wait, is that 140.93? That's what he said, right? No. Did I read that wrong? Yeah, 140.93. Maybe I just can't call him now. I only picks during boss fights. Four orphans. Okay. Just I want to know about the whale cuisine. This room. I can't... What's the point of having? Oh, I guess I can crawl under. But I already went through here. Is there anything else for me? Whoops! 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 Oh, the lasers are not. Back in the garbage chute! What's the weirdest meat I've had? I haven't had a lot of weird meats. I've had like wild boar before, but that's not that weird. Oh, is that good garbage or bad garbage? No, it's bad garbage. Whale cuisine is krill. I mean, it depends on the type of whale. If it's a blue whale. How similar is it to pork? Yeah, it tastes pretty much the same. I had wild boar and like curry. It just tasted like meat, basically. Okay, oh yeah, I need to find the green beret guy, that's right. No, I've never had a horse. Alright, I gotta punch the elevator. I need to go to the first floor? Is that right? Wait, can I go in here? Ooh, 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 new door. What are you doing, buddy? You gonna move? You gonna stand there? Okay. Oh no! Too fast for it. Are these like doors? What are these? What are these? Ooh, plastic explosives. Oh, they don't infinitely respawn. Oh, it doesn't even open. Uh oh. No! Ooh, a gun. Guy's gonna come in. All right, we good. 
Ooh, submachine gun. They respawn if you leave the area. Okay, I see. It's just the hidey hole, or does this take me anywhere? The hidey hole. Snacks. Can't eat bullets. You can try. door before? I think so. Alright, let's get up. We gotta find the guy with the green beret. This <laughs> is solid snake eats bullets. Presser on the second floor. Oh, and like a door I haven't been in yet? Uh oh. Oh, that noise. Uh oh, he's still looking for noises. You coming this way? You just standing there? Uh oh, there's a guy coming this way. Oof, oof. Ah, they're all coming. Dude. The guard on the freaking other map needs to move. He's just standing. Oh, I guess he just, he just stay there. Let's go pick up those rations again. This is the snack floor. It's the floor with snacks. Did I go in this door already? Ah! Yeah, okay. I already went in here. He's too fast for my short little arms. <laughs> snake, snake punches like when Bart and Lisa fight. I'm just gonna go like this. And if you run into my arm, it's your own fault. What is that guy doing? Oop. Out of here. Ooh, a suppressor! Nice. I should try looking left and right when they enter room instead of just straight ahead. Oh, how do, can I put the suppressor on my gun? Oh, is it already? Is it automatically? I guess it's just automatically on there. Alright, 
I gotta go find that green beret guy. Uh oh. Alright, Bozo, what are you gonna do? You gonna turn around? Want me to turn around? Oh, there he goes. Get the suppressor on the explosives. That'll work. So the green beret guy, he should be on the first floor, I think. That's what they told me. Whoa. There's a guy coming. Oh! How could he see me around the corner? That was such a good hiding spot. Where is the Green Beret Man? Oh my god. Stop looking at my butt. I'm just here now. Where's the green beret now? Is ignoring me. Thanks, Holly. Alright. Alright, I gotta find a guy with a green beret somewhere. I'm pretty sure he's on this floor. I think that's what Ninja Face told me. Unless I was not listening, which is also very possible. On 40.93, um, people are saying that only works in boss battles, because he hasn't been picking up my calls. Yeah. Hi, bunny! Yeah, I'm on the first floor. Oh wait, maybe he's in the store. No, that's the saluting room. Maybe he's in one of those other doors I couldn't open. I think there was one over here I couldn't open. So sneaky. Here we go. Oh, there he is! Do I just follow him or do I have to talk to him? Hello? Okay, that didn't work. I guess I just have to follow him. Ow! Oh, stupid. Metal Gearing is going pretty good, except I just died. Where am I? Oh. Okay, well now I know where I have to go. Maybe I should just eat this ration, like a smart person. Do I have levels in this game? Where I can like carry more stuff? 
because I cannot carry enough snacks. I am very sad. I feel like my um my bullet count went up at some point. So I think it was capped at 60 before. Alright, so I guess I need to follow this guy somehow. Just follow him in circles. Is that what they want me to do? Just walk around in circles with him? Oh, where's he going? Oh, we're in the jungle now, wow. Like the little sound effect for when he turns around. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, the bosses give the M and M's. God, how many forest screens are there? It's like you're not supposed to be following too close, but it's like you don't have to because you can see the whole screen. 15 more. Just this is the whole game. Uh oh. Wait, where's he going this time? God, he's still going. Uh oh. Was I too late? Crap, was I too late on that one? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did I do it all over again? for making fun of him. Ah, you saw me. Great. Oh, is he going faster this time? At least he didn't do the whole circle thing that time. What kind of funky forest is this? Yeah. What kind of crazy forest technology. Okay, so I guess I guess I do have to be like a little bit closer to them. Oh wait, oh, is it oh. No, just kidding. Alright, alright, Mr. Green Beret.
As long as I'm like one air one length behind him, I'll be okay. <laughs> he just runs away. Okay, I guess... Okay. I don't quite understand the field of their field of vision. But I guess he could see me there. If I'm sort of in front of him, he can see me. He booked it. Yeah, he's just like, I'm out of here. I will get this eventually. I don't know if he can see over the trees or not. Like, I can't tell how tall these trees are. They look really short. But I think they're supposed to be, like, big trees. Are high enough the tree are the trees high enough that I can stand or are the trees high enough that I have to lay down? You can stand. Yeah, this is where I messed up last time. That was close. Whoa, he's running! said 15 save will it load me in the right will it load me here or will it just load me at the beginning to make a little bloop noise when I turn around, but only if I'm looking for somebody. <gasps> no! 
No! Wait, does this may kill him? Okay, that's cool. That's fine. What is that noise? It's scary. It's a TAF code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Before that, they were used during the Korean War. Instructions on the deciphering the code should be written in the software manual. Software manual? He served his purpose. Oh, thank you so much, Red Hot Boss. Holly's ignoring me. Tap code. Oh. Wait, can I look in that room next to me? Oh. It's Dr. What's-His-Face. You can't punch back. You have to look up the game manual. Do I have to? Could I not figure it out on my own? There's a science man in there. Can I just blow up the wall? Oh, is he dead? Six one six four. There's so many. Okay, wait, I think we're at the beginning now. Six, one, six, three, four, seven, five, eight, three, six. Two. It's a grid. Numbers. Wait. Arrange the alphabet into a grid. <laughs> a, B, C, D. Rem remove the ands. Five across and seven down. What? Is this so okay, this sounds like something you definitely needed the manual for. Okay, I'm getting out a piece of paper. Okay. So make a grid. I'm sorry I can't show this to you. Actually, you know what? We'll do it on the computer so we can solve this together. Open MS Paint. So... Alright, here we go. I'll make this nicer in a second. Okay, here's our grid. I don't have, like... Okay. So, box. Five and s five by seven? That's a lot. Bad grid. This is slowly gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's my grid. And then I want to put the alphabet in here. 
Is that right? Beautiful, thank you. A B C D E. Can you guys see? Okay. F C H I J A L M N O or excel yeah well this is what happens when you're used to art three four five six seven eight nine okay now are his taps are they like directions like across and down the poor professor <laughs> Okay, so let's wait for it to recycle. Okay, here we go. Okay, is that it? All right, here we go. Six, one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, six, four. Wait, three, seven. Wait, is it just numbers? Seven, three, seven. Oh wait, seven, five. Wait, is this just supposed to be numbers? Six, two? You have to remove the K. Wait, why isn't there a K? There's no Z? Wait, is there no K or is there no Z? There's no K in Japan, that's not true. Anti-piracy, okay, so I gotta get rid of the K. So, and then do I have to move everything over? I'm gonna puke. <laughs> I'm gonna puke. They just can't handle. Oops. Just messed up are you? The poor professor. So then all the numbers. Okay. Okay. We're almost there, I think. I hope I got okay. So now we have to do this again. Okay. Uh, okay, so six one, so one. Wait, then it's just the numbers one, four, seven, five. But there isn't a seven, five now, or is there a zero? Seven, three, six, two, one, forty, eighty two. All right, let's give this a let's try one, forty, eighty two. Oops. Freaking genius! Thank you for your help, guys. Ah, I see you figured out my code. Yes, all on my own. Where is Dr. Marv? Oh, Dr. Madnar. He was the fake, the first fake doctor. I actually thought they were the same person. 
It's been a while. A solid snake? Dr. Drago Petrovich Magnar? How did you- Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak each other's language, but we are scientific comrades. After a fashion. I was captured along with Marv while we were in America. Where is Dr. Marv? He was moved from here to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it, I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building? Oh, thank you so much for the dono. Snake. Can you guess why they've left me alive? They must need you for something. And that means... Yes. Metal Gear. Snake. It's here, in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago was a prototype. The new, improved Metal Gear is many, many times more powerful. They're also working on a light version for mass production. Mass Pro Metal Gear? Then it was Metal Gear that attacked the new disposal sites. Precisely. Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is unleashed only when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Dan the Barland now has the only nukes in the world, and now they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it? Big Boss 2? <gasps> Big Boss? But, but we killed Big Boss. Huge Boss? The very same. With Metal Gear and Oilix- wait, how is Big Boss alive? <gasps> what? With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plans to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. I really hope that Big Boss has two eye patches now. Marm's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry! I don't know how long he can withstand their torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Oh, that's right. He wasn't dead. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. You could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madnar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made up of Chobham armor plate. You can't just blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Snake. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Snake. My daughter Ellen is a fan of yours. She's not married yet, and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist. Why are you hooking me up, Dr. Badnar? Je Johan Jacobson, who lives around here, a zoologist. You can reach him on frequency 14040. He'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Wow! Got an animal fun fact hotline? Don't worry. I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Oh. Wedding? Wait, what? Wedding to me? This is Solid Snake. Why does Foxhound use animals for codenames anyway? Who comes up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it. Over and out. Wow, he just called me to make fun of my codename. I didn't pick it, did I? Who called me Snake? My name's David. Wow. That was a wild ride. My brain hurts. Okay. So... Now what? You need to know any- Yeah, I tried calling him, and he didn't tell me anything. David Snakeman. Snake Snakeson. Have you found Marv yet? Dude, I just walked out of that freaking house. Oh, 
Oh, animal facts. Man, I was all excited about animal facts, and that guy's just a big jerkwad. Snakey McSnakes in. Alright. So, I gotta find Dr. Marv now? Snakey McSnake face. Original portrait was Albert Einstein. I mean, you shouldn't have to change that. I don't think Albert Einstein is copywritten. I miss my croc hat. Okay. So... I got to find Dr. Marv. Hey, how is he alive? Killed that bozo. The Einstein estate might sue, would they? Do they care? Gonna kill him again. Yeah. It's Green Bray Jr. <laughs> I just killed his son. You can now explain. You can explore the entire area now. Oh, like is there other stuff in the forest? Is it not a magic forest anymore? Watch out, you're in a minefield. Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Oh, is it Ellen? Keep up the good work. Thanks, baby. Can I see them? With anything? With my gas mask? I guess I need a mine detector. Oh, a child. They told us this is a bottomless swamp and it's too dangerous to get close, but... I saw a big truck driving through here. You believe me, right? Sure, kid. Oh, can I use my mask to swim through here? Glub, glub, glub. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I'm drowning. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help me. Oh, no. Who have we seen call Snake warning him about mines and saying he was his number one fan before? I don't remember. Like, the kid's just laughing at me. Can I like... No, I don't want to risk it. I need a freaking mine detector. Kid, where's a mine detector? Or I need a truck. I need a truck so I can drive through the swamp. Now to pull my arms out with my face. Try calling Holly. Can I crawl the minefield? They're not claymores, they're mines. They're different. That kid isn't innocent, that's true. That kid deserves to die. Your number one fan. There's a mine detector on the third floor. Okay. Thanks, Holly. She's actually helpful. Yeah, you can crawl. My number one fan isn't picking up. I'm fan she is. That kid is little Johnny. <laughs> Alright, third floor. Whoops. I'm out of here. Ow! Oh 
Wait, can I not go in that door? I thought that's where the elevator was. So am I wrong? Can I not enter it on alert mode? Oh no, the elevator's over here. I'm an idiot. Looking at me. Oh God, he heard me punch the elevator. thing that looks like a mouse. Gas room, no. You click on the mines. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, where's he going? Maybe I want that bottom one. Ah! Ah, he turned the lights off! Cheap trick. Okay, maybe it's this way. laughing at this soldier seeing me and then he turns the lights off. Like, this will stop him. Nope. Can't open that door. Um... crawl under those. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got my mind detector. I have, like, no life left. the death sheet. Just because it's fun. Alright, so where was... I was in the forest. 
Wait, what floor was that on? My cigarette butts. Bug checklist. What's a bug checklist? That sounds like it could be useful. Trash snake. Into the garbage where you belong. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up those snacks. I can get them without dying. And then... The snacks are on the second floor. I don't know if I can get to the second floor from here. Oh, I can. Okay, pick up snacks. And then I'll go back to where the minefield was. And then I'm gonna stop. What was that noise? Don't look at me. Oh, I should pick up like double snacks. So we're gonna go down and then back up. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna need triple snacks. We're up and then back down. Hey! Get out of here! Ah! Is not going well. They just keep coming. It takes longer for the rations. Oh god! That didn't work. Well. Well. Oh god. So much for that plan. Uh, I forget where the forest was. Stop running into me! Hey, he's gonna shoot me! Oh my god, I think I have less life than I started with. I need to trigger the loading screen. Well... Maybe... so maybe they're back now? Oh god! No, don't come over here! I hope they're back now. I need snacks. Yay! Okay, now I need to do that again. Oh god, come on! Stop being an idiot! Go pick up a second snack. And then... Go back... To the forest. I got an IRL rations. I mean, I was in the military, so I ate MREs. Okay, wait, where- the forest was on the first floor? wanted to try MREs. Um, not as exciting as it seems. It's out of curiosity. Oh my god, stop looking at me. My health is gonna go down again. I'm gonna waste all those snacks I got. Gosh dang it! You could jerkwads. Oh my god, I need to go get another snack. This is going to be a cycle of me getting snacks and then getting caught. Ah! 
No! Get out of here. I should be looking at my radar. I get too excited about snacks though. Oops. Running into a guy. Yeah, running into a guy does a lot of damage though. Oh my gosh. Honestly, stuck in a cycle. Like, this is the first floor. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to my radar this time. Okay, there's a guy there, there's a guy there. Get this. This guy's gonna come up here. You see me here? You gonna move? Those guys gonna move? Oh, this guy's coming. Ah! This is good enough. I have one snack left over. Okay, so the forest was on the first floor? Is that right? Ah! Wiggly his crawling animation is. It is the 8 bit version of the. Oh my god, how did it see my big freaking butt? Stupid guard cameras and their butt sensors. looked right at me and I punched him. <laughs> Someone keeps stealing all their snacks. Okay. I'm gonna get to the minefield and then I'm gonna save. I don't know if it'll put me back there, but it should at least put me on this general area, so that's fine. Yeah, they should stop leaving their snacks lying around. Take better care of your snacks, man. Alright, well that'll do it for Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake for now. That's, yeah, people said this one was fantastic and it's very good. I'm just constantly impressed by how, I mean, even the first Metal Gear, it was a little clunky, but it was still really fun. And this one is a huge improvement in a lot of different ways. So I'm looking forward to continuing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Am I going to do any streams this weekend? I might do like an Ape Escape stream. I might do like a Doodle stream. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. I have to... Classes start back on Friday, so... I'm going to be back in my normal work schedule, so we'll see. 
but oh, thank you. I will do my best to stream as much as I can. And as always, doodles abundant on Twitter. I think I made a list of like five things after my last Metal Gear 4 stream, so Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, so thanks for coming, everybody, and I hope to see you at my future streams, and work does suck. I mean, I have a pretty good job, but it's still work. Um, so yeah, take care, everybody. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye!